Okay, 2038. Mm -hmm. Oh, David Cage's like weird time thing where they tell you what time it is. I gotta go sure. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Oh. Is that a crack pipe? Yeah. That's what he was doing. Oh. And that's why she was hiding under the table, because when he does the drug, uh -huh. it gets all weird. Yep. So yeah, he's smoking meth. Get away from her. Oh, I see the clouds of red. Mm-hmm. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. You're gonna get mad at me for condescending or some shit? Turn on the light. Turn on the lights! Okay. See shit. I'm doing that. Like, right now. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. You know, you have time to take care of the house if you don't have a job. Just sure. saying. <laughs> of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. fail, they're never tired, they're never sad, they're so fucking perfect, they ruin my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. Why didn't she take the kids? I was just thinking. Daddy knows. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Don't move. Breaking free. Maybe we're seeing it from her point of view, like yeah. what it's like to break free of your code. She was able to disobey. Maybe this is like what protect Alice. So now we get to see reason with Todd. I don't think there's reasoning with him. Lock the door. It's not letting me. Yeah. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time. Lock room. Alice! Alice! Daddy's coming! <laughs> Can't she contact the police with her brain or something? She should be able to. Find something. You're gonna get out of here. The fuck are you doing here? 
Get out protecting of Protecting your kid from you! No. I won't let you hurt her. You won't let me? What the fuck are you talking about? You're just a goddamn piece of plastic! You seem to have a problem. And I'm gonna fix it for good. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's hacking them. They're just breaking free. Yeah. Might be. Should have given them agency, like you said, Stacy. <sighs> We're going to be in trouble, but I think it's worth it. Yeah. He's going to say that we kidnapped her. Her, but I don't care. I don't care. Get on the bus. Oh my god. They have an android compartment. Did you see that? Yeah. So like, with every revolution, there's always like, people defending themselves and it's like interpreted as like unwarranted violence mm -hmm. but like if somebody's being treated like shit over and over and over again and the only way to defend yourself is to strike punch, back is to strike back yeah it's gonna look like you're doing it for no reason we fought our way out there's so many look at all the ways this could have like I made a- Gone I, wrong. Yeah, I made a few mistakes. No, I think that, I mean, we got our way out, so. Yeah, that's what matters. That's what matters. Um, I'm glad that we didn't have to resort to, like, killing him or something. I agree. Um. Well, because I don't think that her, well, at least in our scenario, I don't think her aim was to hurt him. I think it was to protect the kid. Because you notice, like, she had plenty of opportunities to, like. Hurt him. Yeah. And we could have chosen those things, but I tried not to because I didn't want it to be a worse situation. QTE is free square. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't... Yeah. It was really Do you want another one for daddy issues? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a lot to think about. I was glad I was able to see it through her perception for a little bit in terms of the way she thinks of breaking free mm -hmm. of her code. So, yeah, I just... That was a lot to think about. Also, with the um, androids in the back of the bus thing, that's, in my opinion, a clear callback to when 
in the United States, African Americans were not allowed to sit in front of a white person. So the rule was that if a white person came into the bus, the entire row, it wasn't just like you had to give up your seat. If somebody wanted to sit down and they were white and you were a black person, if they sat down in the same row as you, you had to get up and stand up or move back. So mm -hmm. it wasn't just like you had to give up your seat for a white person. If they, You couldn't even be in the same row as them. You had to be behind them no matter where they sat. Mm -hmm. So someone could just be an asshole and sit in the same row as you and you just had to get up. Yeah. Like, even if there were other seats available. And that's, like, the reason Rosa Parks got in trouble is because she did that. But fair credit, there was a woman who that happened to before her. But, like, she wasn't, quote-unquote, like, PR friendly. So another person had to do it. But I don't remember her name. I saw it on Drug History, so. It was uh, Claudette Colvin. Claudette Colvin. 